Thematic analysis is one of the most uh, important and widely used analysis techniques in qualitative research. One of the most widely used and popular approach or model uh, regarding thematic analysis is that of Braun and Clark. Um, in this br brief presentation, we will generally discuss the uh, main steps of thematic analysis suggested by Braun and Clark. So first, as we know that qualitative data analysis in general is a complex, nuanced, reiterative process. And in comparison to quantitative data analysis, qualitative data analysis is something that involves um, the analysis of texts, images, and um, audio, other audiovisual data. <clears throat> so there are several types of data analysis in, uh, in qualitative uh, data uh, context. And so these include, for example, discourse analysis, thematic analysis, grounded theory approach, and qualitative content analysis, and narrative analysis, to mention a few. There are several models for analyzing qualitative data. <clears throat> and so these, for example, include the grounded theory approach uh, that was uh, developed by Grace, Glasser and Strauss and later on Strauss and Corbin. Discourse analysis, thematic analysis, <clears throat> uh, such as the ones uh, suggested by Miles and Huberman and Brown and Clark, and content analysis are some of the main uh, qualitative data analysis techniques. Now, focusing specifically on the model or approach that Braun and Clark uh, have suggested. So generally, it is one of the most widely used approach uh, to qualitative data analysis, and uh, they call it thematic analysis. So uh, before we discuss the main uh, steps of thematic analysis, first, what is a theme? A theme generally in qualitative data analysis context is a significant recurring pattern or meaning or concept in a data set. Generally, the process of thematic analysis suggested by, by Braun and Clark has these six steps. The familiarization with data or familiarizing with, with the data set, generating initial codes, searching for themes, defining and naming themes, and writing uh, or producing research report. Now, we will discuss these one by one. So the first one, familiarization with data. Generally, <clears throat> at this stage, um, the general process and word in uh, familiarization with data include arranging or organizing uh, the data. So. As we know that generally in qualitative research, data could be textual or visual, or it could be audiovisual. So the first thing that we need to do is to organize or arrange the data that we have collected for our study or during our study. Secondly, in some cases, we need to transcribe data from one form to another form, such as from audio form to uh, textual form, or maybe from visual form to textual form. So that is the second thing that we need to do at this stage. Once we transcribe the data, um, the next stage generally is the reading and rereading, or reading several times. In other words, the critical reading of the data that we have got as a result of transcription. Um, and at this stage, at the stage of familiarization with data, we also need to note down our initial ideas or our initial perceptions or understanding of the data. Uh, and the aim of this stage is basically for the researchers to have a detailed or contextual understanding of the data. 
The second stage then, or the second step is generating initial codes. So uh, basically a code is the process of identifying, labeling or naming uh, or coding relevant interesting features in the data or relevant interesting chunks of data or instances of data. And so these are interesting or relevant in the light of our research questions and objectives. So the researchers have to decide what data is interesting and why is it interesting keeping in view the research questions and objectives. And so they code uh, their data in line with, uh, with their selection. So codes are generally the names or labels or short phrases that represent important chunks of data or important meanings in data, such as in the interview transcripts. We can code the answers of the respondents in line with the kind of meaning that we get from those chunks. So what is the aim of the second stage? The aim of the second stage is to identify interesting useful and relevant data or information that we think is useful in terms of, of responding to our research questions or achieving our research objectives. The third stage then is searching for themes. So as we know that a theme is a recurring uh, pattern or, or, or meaning in data. So at this stage, at, at the third stage, we are in search of themes keeping in view the, 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 the second stage or the codes that we have done. Um, and so as a result at this stage, what happens is that there is a process of collating or combining of the related codes to identify patterns or themes in data. At this stage, <clears throat> what happens is that, that there is a sort of sorting, organizing, codes into themes or into bigger meanings um, and to sub-themes or associated meanings related to bigger meanings. The aim uh, at this stage uh, that is searching for themes or bigger meanings is to analyze and interpret our codes uh, across the whole data set into main themes or sub-themes. So that's the, 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 the next stage. Uh, searching for themes, uh, and it is one of the most important steps in the thematic analysis process. The next stage that, um, the, or the next step that we need to take uh, during this uh, uh, thematic analysis is reviewing of themes. So at this stage, what happens is that we have already identified themes, and in some cases, sub-themes, um, and at this stage, we need to critically review those themes for accuracy and authenticity and for representation of the primary data. So for example, if we have um, identified certain themes, uh, for example, uh, if we take a, a, an example from the education field, if we are in search of, for example, the causes of students' failure in, in mathematics, so, for example, we have, uh, uh, we have collected data through interviews with maths teachers. And, for example, one of the themes that comes out of it is that uh, mathematics is a kind of theoretical subject because of which students find it difficult to understand its, its concepts. And so that could be like the, th the theoretical nature of math, for example, is like one of the themes that, um, that is uh, suggested, that our data suggests is one of the causes of failures of, 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 of the students. So at this stage, we need to critically review whether our data has substantial support for this theme or whether our themes have sub substantial support uh, for this theme or for the sub theme that, that might come as a result of it. So the relevance and substance of the themes um, is something that we need to, um, to look for at this stage. 
The aim of this stage, that is reviewing of the themes, is to, uh, to um, authenticate the process of thematic analysis and it, its outcome so that we are sure that thematic analysis has been done accurately and the outcomes are solid. So the next thing then, the next stage is defining and naming themes. At this stage, uh, we are now consolidating our theme. So again, what happens is that at this stage, we need to have an overall review and refinement. Um, and that actually should lead to clear demarcation in naming of themes. This is done through, for example, ongoing analysis of the themes for specification so that the themes are, are solid, they have sound back, backing from the data, and so that themes are distinct, um, they are not uh, overrepresented or underrepresented. There, there is clear demarcation between various themes, and so each theme represents a distinct finding um, and a solid finding from our data. And so also that the relevance of the primary data or, or quotes that we have associated to certain themes um, uh, is also important to locate at this stage. So what is the aim of this uh, uh, fifth important stage is that we need to ensure the demarcation, the clear boundaries, the precision of themes across data. And so we move on to the last stage, which is the production of the report or write-up. So at this stage, now we have done most of the data analysis uh, uh, processes. And so now we need to produce a, um, a report in the light of our analysis. Generally, this stage is the stage where we need to put it all together. We need to critically analyze the overall themes uh, and we need to uh, kind of have a holistic, to develop a holistic narrative involving the presentation and description, the analysis and synthesis of our findings and of our themes in the light or with reference to its background or relevant literature. So we can say that we are writing what we have found, but we are also critically analyzing what we have found, and we are referring to other studies um, or to the findings of other researchers relevant to our study in order to substantiate or to critically analyze and also to conclude at this stage. That will ultimately result in the form of a report, which, which could be a research thesis or a research paper. So the aim of the sixth or last stage of the thematic analysis is to produce a holistic, scholarly, objective, and critical report at the end of the research process. So that's uh, the general process of thematic analysis suggested by Braun and Clark. Uh, and so they have done this in the context of thematic analysis in uh, psychology. But uh, uh, as we can see that this could be used in most social science uh, fields. And so this is um, a, an important, a very useful model with clear stage-wise, step-wise analysis of the qualitative data. And that is why it is one of the most popular uh, models of, or you can say framework for uh, analyzing qualitative data, especially textual data, data that we get through interviews. So these are some of the important references that you can further, that you can study for further understanding this very important um, and useful topic in, uh, of qualitative data analysis, especially textual data analysis or interview data analysis.